Good, Good morning, morning, Bishop, Bishop Gorman. Gorman. I'm Isaac Tassi. And I'm Ainsley Hartzell. Please stand for the prayer and pledge of allegiance. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God, our Father, I offer you today all that I think and do and say. I offer it with what was done on earth by Jesus Christ, your Son, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Now time for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, Isaac, we're filming. Oh, sorry, I forgot. It's okay, as long as you give me one later. Since it is National Chocolate Day, it's only right to get something chocolate at lunch. I'll make sure to keep that in mind. Also, in the Commons, National Honor Society will have tutors available after school on Tuesdays through Thursdays. Meet at 2.45 at the NHS banner. All subjects, no reservations, just show up. If you have any questions, see Mr. Gordon-Miller. For clubs, Spanish National Honor Society meets today after school in room 326. Also, come learn about the inner workings of the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline from the director of Nevada's 988 Lifeline Call Center, Christian Raymer. Co-hosted by SASA, please join us on Thursday, October 31st at 2.45 in the lecture hall. Hey Isaac, have you read any books lately? No, I haven't, but I probably should. Well, that's perfect because Bishop Gorman Book Club will hold a meeting on Tuesday, October 29th from room 5 at 2.45 p.m. Come discuss our latest readings and plan what to read next. You know, I was wondering what sports are coming up for the winter season. Bowling is coming up. That's right. Even the people who just bowl for fun. Our first day of bowling intramurals is coming up October 30th. Please email Coach Houston or Coach Silva for the Google Classroom code. Anyone at Gorman can attend an intramural, but is only open to the first 20 students who show up. You must be signed up to bowl. Is there anything else? I don't know. Let's pass the ball to Maddie for more. What's up, BG? We have a lot of sports going on, so let's get into it. Varsity Soccer lost against the Wildcats last Friday, but has their playoff game tomorrow against El Dorado at 4. Women's Soccer playoffs are on Wednesday at 6 against Palo. The volleyball team also beat Basic last Wednesday, and their playoffs are tomorrow at 6 against Palo. The football team has a game against Nato this Friday at 6. They also had their senior night Thursday and beat Desert Pine 61-0. Here are some highlights of the game. First big play of the game, Miles Norman scored a touchdown in the beginning of the first quarter. Soon after, CJ Rapp scored a touchdown from QB Micah Eugenio. On defense, Jet Washington got an interception. Terrence Grant with another touchdown in the first quarter. Kyna Watson added more points with a catch in the end zone. Micah handed the ball to Johnny Core, who ran the ball straight in the end zone. In the second quarter, Derek Meadows started off the Gale strong with a touchdown early. Right after that, Brandon Nyea went long catching the ball and running it in for a touchdown. Jet Washington had another great play, picking up a loose ball and converting it into a touchdown. Senior Phil Simpson ran the ball in and scored a touchdown from Micah Eugenio. QB Fox Hogan threw the ball long to Justin Torres, who caught it in the end zone. Well, that's all I have for you today, Gales. Catch you later. Also, important to remember that we have an all-school mass this Friday, November 1st. It is the day after Halloween, so don't forget your mass uniforms. Well, that's all we have for you today, Bishop Gorman. I'm Isaac Tassi. And I'm Ainsley Hartzell. And, and this, this is, is your BGTV5. BG